why rumphius why have professional biologists never heard of rumphius rumphius has been has been kind of hidden in the shadows because uh, he did not produce an an, an work an, an abstract concept that uh, that survived the ages like say like linnaeus did or something i mean he he was prelinian. He, in, in essence, uh, uh, wrote, and he got very close to doing it completely, a natural history of Eastern Indonesia. Rumphius became important again because people realized that um, he had an invaluable treasure trove of information on the botanical properties of plants in that part of the world. And for each plant, which he describes in detail, he gives uh, what he had heard or was handed to him, the, med the information by the local populace of what you could do with it for medical purposes. And that knowledge was based on centuries of, of practice. His medical information, he wanted to be used by, by people at that time. Uh, not just the Europeans, but by everybody. Uh, he became so well versed in, um, in, in the medical properties of his plants and how to prepare them that the local um, herbalists. Dukung, uh, herbalists, which by the way were all women, uh, used to come to him and ask him questions and asked him to, uh, to grow plants in his, in his own, you know, kind of small ort ortus botanicus that he had. He became, but how can you put this? He became more of an uh, of an expert than 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 the local people who've been doing this, you know, since time memorial, uh, which I think is an extraordinary achievement. He also saw things and he was told things that you normally would never ever expect a white man to hear. For example, uh, well, he he has all kinds of of information about abortion. Uh, he has all which kinds. Which was a practice. Huh? Oh yeah, it was practice. very much practiced, and uh, he has all kinds of information about sexual aspects of life, and he where he got it from, I figure via his wife, but still he must have been uh, totally trusted by by the local people, and particularly by the women, uh, because they sure as hell would not have divulged this to uh, to let's say an, an ordinary Dutchman from from the Dutch East India Company. So not only do you have uh, something which can be used by, by Western civilization, but also you have here a document, an, an, a documentation of, of an Asian way of looking at the world, an Asian way of looking at plants, an Asian way of looking at, at, at medicinal properties, which is centuries old uh, and had not been touched. So from that point of view, for instance, ethnog ethnographers are, are very, very uh, keen on having this book, as a matter of fact, in, in, uh, available to them. He also includes all kinds of uh, you know, historical information. He throws in things about the VOC. He throws in things about local history, about uh, the wars between the Dutch and uh, the VOC, the Dutch and, and uh, the, Ambuni, the, you know, the, the peoples of the Moluccas, I should say, who were very warlike. And uh, you know, they would, did not take kindly to having another, another bunch of foreigners coming in and telling them what to do because they got rid of the Portuguese and there were the Dutch. Uh, so that uh, you know, he he describes that because he, he he wrote, as a matter of fact, in history he wrote a history of the of the of of the eastern uh, archipelago. He wrote an herbal of the archipelago. He wrote an, 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 uh, the the marine fauna of of the area. He wrote uh, he had a Malay dictionary almost finished. Um, so that in essence he had really what Pliny would have called a natural history of that region and he almost had it complete and uh, the herbal for instance is still the first and uh, the basis text of of botanical uh, investigations in Indonesia as a whole but then particularly on the eastern uh, archipelago which is very important because he is the first one inadvertently he didn't know this but he was the first one to describe the fauna and flora of Wallachia. Uh, he didn't know that, but uh, he is the, f the very first one. Um, that's why it is a little peculiar that when Wallace was in the Moluccas and he, he was in the Eastern Ar Archipelago in the 19th century that he never, never investigated uh, room views. It's very, very strange.